Hey, this is Brad Gill of Next Time Lifestyles. Welcome back to another Market Snapshot. It is December 19th, 2022. A few days before Christmas and a couple weeks before the end of the year. And there's a lot to talk about. Number one, our inventory level continues to diminish and our uh, pending activity has kind of rebounded from the end of the year. So let's jump into the numbers. Uh, currently we have 480 units active. Those are single family homes, condominiums and townhouses. So to give you some perspective on that, back in July, we had our peak inventory level at just about 1200 units available for sale. And now obviously at the very tail end of the year, we've dropped all the way below 500. So you can really see how our inventory level tends to drop off towards the end of the year. The month of November saw some better than expected inflationary numbers, which caused interest rates to, to begin to decline a little bit and brought more buyers back into the market. And we've pretty much been seeing that pattern stay consistent to where we are today. And we even wrapped up more economic data this month for December and is still showing the same thing with inflation on the way down, creating again, uh, more room for rates to continue to drop and continue to bring more buyers back to the market. So pending numbers currently 296, so just shy of 300. So again, definitely saw that resurgence or a rebound in buyer activity. Um, that'll probably hold pretty steady as we continue to lose our inventory. So the real question is what's going to happen when our inventory resets in January? Where is that buyer demand going to be? Okay, inventory trend. Over the last seven days, we saw 60 listings come to the market, uh, down slightly from last week at 78. Demand trend. Over the last seven days, we saw 46 properties go under contract, definitely down from last week. But what's interesting is if we look at the 30 day average, we had 300 units go under contract over the last 30 days. And looking back at listings, only 283 listings come to market in the same time period. So you can really see how that, again, that buyer activity switched and came back as those rates came down and positive economic data came out regarding inflation. So is that gonna hold true for next year? Obviously we gotta wait and see what happens, but I do expect quarter one to be a great quarter as far as seeing a lot of that buyer activity that disappeared for the market last year or delayed to shift and come back into the market. Market expectations this time of year, we're gonna to continue to see more and more properties come off the market. We had 36 homes that failed to sell, um, up higher than last week, the saw 34. Price changes, uh, we had 168 price changes this week, which was about 35% of our active inventory. So as you may recall, that 30% of inventory is about a normal market. So we are a little, still a little softer at 35%, but I, I do believe we're, we're making improvements on that um, as we are lower than uh, last week that saw 38%. Uh, 30 fixed rate mortgage, 6.31%, down slightly from last week. So again, as that rate continues to come down, as those economic numbers come out to uh, uh, continue to improve on a month by month basis, expect to see rates continue to fall and that should uh, continue to bring more buyer activity back in the market. I'm Brad Gill with Next Home Lifestyles. Thanks so much for tuning in again this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, Christmas holiday and uh, Happy New Year. Talk to you next year.